Hello, 5th and 6th grade Sunday School students. This is going to be a short and sweet lesson, um, our third lesson out of the new series, and I apologize for not getting a video done last week, but here we are today, and hello. I hope everyone's healthy and happy and uh, ready to almost get to spring break. It's just right around the corner. Yeah, what's that? I think I hear you cheering. <laughs> okay, you should have gotten a Sunday School bag this weekend for lessons 3 and 4. Um, as we get closer to Easter, we will start talking about Lent and a little bit more and, and preparing for Holy Week and all the events of Holy Week. Uh, so in your Sunday School bag, in your green bag this week, I did put, um, they're just hidden pictures. They're fun. They're easy. Um, but I kind of always like to do hidden pictures. So I hope you do too. But part of those hidden pictures, at the top there's some text, and it talks about a little bit about how that Holy Week begins, and the next bag that you get, I will give you four more um, hidden picture pages to do, and, and so you, if you save those, you'll kind of have a story of Holy Week and our Savior's crucifixion and how he is resurrected by Easter time, okay? So hopefully, and it's a very simplified version of the story, don't be offended, um, but sometimes simple is good because you can get through it quick and yet it, you get the message. All right, there's a couple other little puzzle pages in there um, about being a child of God, a servant of God, and why God is important to you that you can do at your own leisure. Okay, so um, today's story is called A Rescue Mission. Um, Nicodemus was a rabbi in the Jewish faith, and at that time, um, the rabbis, the leaders, uh, they were held higher than our president. I mean, they were, even though the Romans had a governor and the Romans had leadership that the Jewish people had to fear because the Romans were not very nice to them, uh, they almost also feared these Jewish leaders because <clears throat> these Jewish leaders also put themselves higher than they really should have. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So people had to pay money for forgiveness and um, they, they bring their sacrifices and it was just a whole different way of, of worship and thinking about God. God wanted that to stop. He wanted people to know that he is approachable, <clears throat> that he is with us and can help us through everything. And so that's why he sent Jesus. So this lesson about is about God's rescue mission for us, sending Jesus. And the, the main message of the story, and I'll read out of the Bible too what Jesus says. The main message is, I'm going to turn off that glaring light again, <clears throat> that no matter how many good works we do, how many good things we try to do here on earth that we think are going to get us into heaven, they make God smile. They make God proud of us because he's our parent. He's our father in heaven. But they won't get us to heaven. Only believing in Jesus Christ and his death on the cross and being raised from the dead will get you into heaven. Okay? So let's see what Nicodemus found out when he talked to Jesus about these things. And um, in our, our Sunday School series, it says lots of people end up in situations in which they need to be rescued. Rescuing people is usually the job of lifeguards, ski patrols, medics, and emergency room doctors. But today, it's also your job to rescue people, to rescue, you, rescue your friends, maybe even family members that you know don't believe in God and don't believe in what Jesus did for us. How sad, because they won't get into heaven. So we are the rescuers, you and I, talking to our friends, talking to our friends' parents, talking to anybody we know that doesn't believe what we know. Okay, so that's a big job. But Jesus came to save us, and it's our job to try to save others. So that he can save them too. So in the Bible, in the book of John, which is in the New Testament, remember I told you that the book of John, if you look right up there in the top corner, you'll see that, let's see, uh, I'm always so backwards at holding holding things up to this camera. There we go, right, right over here. You see the book of John right up there at the top and it's chapter, 
<laughs> chapter 3. So let's read this story, starting with verse 10. Actually, I'm going to go back to verse 5. Jesus replied, because Nicodemus said, What do you mean? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus is telling him he has to be born again, and all people do, to go to heaven. Jesus says, That's not what I mean. I can assure you no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind but can't tell where it comes from or where it's going, so you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible, Nicodemus asked. And Jesus said, you are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things? I assure you, we tell you that we know and have seen, and yet you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe me if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned. But the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And that's Jesus. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. Let me tell you what that means. Moses, we talked about him last semester. And he led his people <clears throat> out of slavery across the desert and to greener pastures, if you would, um, <clears throat> where they could raise their livestock and live comfortably um, and have plenty of food and not be slaves anymore. So... At one point in their journey, people were stop, were not believing, and they were getting pretty sassy, if you would, um, towards God and towards Moses. God sent poisonous snakes amongst them, but he gave Moses a like a metal, a bronze snake on a staff, on a rod, that Moses could stand and hold, and he told him to tell the people... If they believe in God, they are to look at that bronze snake. And if they do, no harm will come to them because they are showing their belief in God. The people who did not believe, that did not look at the snake and laughed at Moses, they died. Okay? Because they got bit by the poisonous snake. So that's another one of those kind of sci-fi stories that it actually happened in the Bible in the Old Testament. But Jesus was telling Nicodemus, you have to be like those people that looked at that staff that Moses had. You have to show that much faith in order to get to heaven. Okay? So here's the verse that we're getting to, our verse of the day, John 3, 16. And you've probably heard it before, and then we're gonna, I'm going to play a song in a little bit about it. For God so loved the world. And I'd love for you to repeat this after me because it's one of the most important verses in the Bible. So, for God so loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life. Eternal means forever, right? So, just because you die here on earth doesn't mean it's the end. It's only the beginning of your new life in heaven with God and all of the saints and the angels. Beautiful, right? Okay, that's John 3, 16. That is our main verse for our lesson today. So now, since I kind of explained to you what Nicodemus was like, he just thought he was a lot better, kind of snubbed his nose at the Israelites. Um, all of the Jewish leaders were pretty much like that. Thought he was better than everyone else. I want you to listen to a rescue mission now. There's a character, the main character in this that's talking is a little bit like Nicodemus. And he needs <clears throat> he needs to be rescued. Okay? So hopefully you can hear this. The best thing about being the world's top-rated mountain climber is that up here, where no man has climbed before, I am master of my destiny. I am king of all I survey. I am invincible. 
pause the CD now. Okay, so we're going to pause. And so that's a lot what Nicodemus was like here. And I have some questions for you somewhere I'm supposed to be asking you. Oh, sorry. Um, describe this man's attitude about his own abilities. He talked about being invincible. I'm sure you've heard some characters in some movies talk about being invincible. That means you think nothing will ever harm you. So did he think he was pretty great? Yeah, he certainly did. Okay, let's continue on. Oops, it would help if I move my phone out from under this machine. Here we go. I am out of rope. Oh, man. And just a few hundred feet from the top. I can't go down. I can't get up. And with that storm blowing in, I, I can't stay here. I guess this is it then. Pause the CD now. Do you have any solutions for this man? Um, what can you think of that might help him save himself? What would you do in that situation? I'd never be in that situation to start with because I am petrified of heights. <laughs> so don't ever ask me to climb up on a ladder <laughs> or stand up on a high ledge and look down. Um, but this man, uh, I think he's kind of in a pickle, right? Okay, let's see what he decides to do. Praying would be a good option, right? This is where it ends. Where the legend stops. Here on the sheer cliff. Where no man has... Hey! You okay down there? What? Who's there? It's me! A pair! But how did you get to the summit? I'm the first person to ever climb this mountain. Oh, no, we didn't climb it. We took the tourist bus. We? Tourist bus? Yeah, there's about 50 of us up here. But I'm the only one who can see you. The rest of my group is buying souvenirs over at the gift shop. So do you want me to toss you down a rope or anything? How about a soft drink? Extra film? How about some snacks? I'm a world famous mountain climber. I don't need you throwing snacks at me. Well, right now you look like a stuck world famous mountain climber. You sure you don't want that rope? Isn't there someone else up there I can talk with? A another mountaineer maybe? There's the tour bus driver. Will he do? I will not be rescued by a tour bus driver. Eh, suit yourself. Pause the CD now. I think I would take anybody's help that came along. How about you? But this man seems to think he's better than the help that is above him standing on solid ground. So he doesn't sound like he's going to accept their help. Does that kind of sound like an attitude that maybe a rabbi or somebody who thinks they're better than God or don't need God's help or bah humbug on God? Yeah, it does. And that's how foolish they sound, too. If they only knew the truth, which is our job to rescue them, right? Okay, let's see what happens. Then it looks like you'll get rescued by a backhoe operator from Ohio, mister. I'll throw you a rope in a minute. I don't want to be rescued by a backhoe operator. How will that look in the papers? Hey, it looks like you don't have much of a choice. Take it or leave it, mister. Otherwise, you're going to die. Give me a minute to think about this. Hey, think quick. They're all getting back on the bus. And we're the last ones up here. I've got my dignity to consider. My pride. If word gets out that I was tossed a rope by a, a, a backhoe operator, I'll be laughed out of the International Mountaineering Club. They'll never let me climb Mount Everest again. Hey, yes or no, mister? I'm still thinking! Hey, they've started the bus. It's now or never. I gotta go. Be quiet up there! Pause the CD now. So when Nicodemus met Jesus, he didn't know. I mean, Jesus knew he was a savior, but 
and Jesus was trying to give him hints, but Nicodemus or, or none of the rabbis or the high priests knew that Jesus was the Savior, the Son of God. They refused to believe it anyway, even though he was telling them. Kind of like this man who's refusing help. He thinks he's better than all of that, and he wants to go down in history as knowing everything. That's how Nicodemus thought about Jesus. How could I believe this man, this nobody, and change everything that I've ever learned or known about God? It takes faith, doesn't it? Okay, I think this is the ending part. Of course, maybe nobody has to know I was rescued. I can climb up the rope, throw it away, and let everyone think I pulled myself up by my own sheer strength, that I willed myself the rest of the way up the mountain, that even when there was no toehold, no possible way to finish the climb, that somehow I managed it. I can just not talk about exactly how I did it, that's all. Keep them all guessing. Very well, then. Toss the rope down. I said, toss down the rope. I've decided to let you rescue me. Hello? Hello up there? Are you still there? Blew it, didn't he? And those people that choose not to believe in God, that choose not to go to church, that choose not to understand his word and read the Bible, they blew it too. So, but not you, not you. You are going to be a rescuer. It says we, we may never need to be rescued from a mountain, but we all need to be rescued from one thing, sin. We all need someone to guide us back to God, and that's why Jesus came to save us. Today's key verse is one that may be familiar to many of you, and that's the one that I just read to you. Do you remember how it goes? For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believed in him will not perish, but have eternal life. I want you to repeat that to yourself over and over again. Share it with your family. Share it with friends. It is so very important. And now I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to play, and I believe that this is going to be the song that goes along with that verse. So I hope you have a great week. I will try to get another video done for next week. So tune in. but I think it's this one. <laughs> different songs so I'll find it and play it for you next time but remember God does love you and it says I believe in God even though I don't deserve it no way that I could earn it he loves us God loves us that's a good thought to leave you with we don't deserve it but God loves us all bye <laughs>